This tutorial shows how to enable and use geotag location data on the Panasonic Lumix GH4. This location data is taken from your smartphone and sent to the GH4 via a Wi-Fi connection. To enable Wi-Fi on your camera, you first need to turn it on and then press the Function 1 button located at the top of the camera. You're able to tell that your Wi-Fi is working through a blue light located at the top of your camera next to the word Wi-Fi. Also on the GH4 screen, you will see something similar to what is shown here. Since I've already set up my iPhone for connection with my camera, all I need to do is to enable the Wi-Fi. You can identify the SSID of your GH4 through a name that starts with GH4. Once your smartphone is Wi-Fi connected to your camera, the display on your GH4 will change to request you to connect to the image app. Panasonic Image App is free to download from the internet via the App Store. If everything is working correctly, once the app is started, it'll indicate that you're now connected to your camera. The Panasonic Image App can do many things in controlling your camera. We're interested, however, only in the home screen. On the home screen, we choose the geotagging icon. The first thing we may want to do is to synchronize the clock on our camera with the accurate GPS clock on our phone. A note of caution at this point. For some reason, the synchronization of the clock does not recognize daylight saving. If this is the case and you are in daylight saving, you will need to make an adjustment on your camera. Using the menu on your GH4, you will need to navigate to where the clock setting is located. If you are currently in daylight saving, you will need to forward your clock one hour, then press the set to save it. Coming back to your iPhone, you will need now to start your geotagging. This will begin a log of all the locations your phone is currently in. For the geotagging can be set at the settings. The default is 5 seconds, which I will leave it at. To confirm that your phone is logging its location, select the log and you will notice that the number of locations log will increment every 5 seconds. An important point to note, the Panasonic Image app will not geotag your location unless it is running in the background. This means if you go on a photo shoot, you will need to check to make sure the app is still running on your phone. You're now ready to go on a photo shoot, but don't forget to carry your smartphone in your pocket with the Panasonic Image app open to log your geotag location. Note, the camera Wi-Fi does not need to be on. When you're finished, reconnect the smartphone to your camera through the Wi-Fi and start the Panasonic Image app as was previously demonstrated. To send the geotag information to your photos and videos, you will need to use the batch send. Each time you send your batch information, you're asked if you want to erase the data from your phone. You can choose to do this if you like, but really it is not that necessary. The app now asks you if you want to write the data to the photos on the camera. There are many ways of seeing geotagged information on photos. Here's how to view geotagged photos on a map using Flickr. Before you upload your photos into Flickr, you will first need to enable the import EXIF location data. This is found under Privacy and Permissions in your settings. Select the camera roll. And choose Upload your photos. Flickr has a confusing two-stage process in uploading photos. 
first of all you select the photos and then when they are ready you choose upload photos from the blue button on the top right hand corner. Now that you have uploaded your photos you can select one and you will notice below will be a map to select. If your photos are geotagged, they will automatically be put on this map. There is another feature that you can also add photos to the map that are not being geotagged. To identify the location of a single photo, select it at the bottom of the screen and a star will appear on the map to show where the photo was taken. In a closing note, I have noticed in Bridge the metadata of the geotag information includes Eastern Standard Time. However, as shown here, the daylight saving time which we set earlier has been tagged on the photo also.